This is your girl, Ella Mac J, coming at you with the new on the sevens. Here we go, wrapping up your seven days with seven topics in under seven minutes. So let's get it. Okay. Here's a nursery before you The massacre that happened in Florida. A big, big tragedy. Omar Mateen, 29 years old, went in on a rampage, shooting everything in sight. He was American born, and his ex-wife said that he may suffer from mental illness. Really? Ah, sounds good, but not this time. He pledged ISIS when he called 911, so they're linking it to a terrorist attack. Of course. But what we really want to look at is why did he choose this club to shoot up? Gay nightclub. Out of all the places he could have gone, what we think in this society is that he was actually on the down low and that he didn't want people to tell what was really going on. So he decided to spaz out. If you want to take someone else's life, why not just take your own? Condolences to all the victims. In real life, this lady played Mario Kart. You don't believe me? In Arizona, 44-year-old woman said, you know what, I'm gonna run his ass over with the car. If you don't believe me, just check out the footage. So, you wanna know what happened? She ran him over because he is actually infected with HIV. I would've ran him over too. Be lucky that was it. He didn't die though. <laughs> he had a fractured vertebrae and of course some other things going on with his head. That stuff got hurt too, obviously. If you flip over a car, that's kind of what happened. I just would've put an X-Lax in the Alfredo ball. Moving on. Again in Florida, another tragedy. A two-year-old was dragged in the water by an alligator. Of course, there were signs posted, but when you're at this grand hotel, like the Grand Floridian Resort and Spa, you don't think that you'll be there for more than just your vacation. Of course, we want to enjoy the water. It was around 9 p.m. and the alligator snatched the two-year-old. It was seen by many and unfortunately, he did not survive. His body was recovered just a couple of days ago. He was in the Seven Seas Lagoon. Poor thing. That's, that's, that touched my heart because I have little boys too. And, whew, condolences, really. But now as a result, Disney has now placed more signs up and they closed all of the beaches along that part of their resort. So, my question is, how do we keep losing planes? I don't know if that's making you uncomfortable, but I for damn sure don't want to get on any other plane. Because Egypt Air 804 first all of a sudden went missing. Then it resurfaced after, what was it, a couple of days? They found it in the Mediterranean Sea. The black box has not been discovered yet. Why not? 66 people lost their lives. Why is the question? Why? First it veered right and then took a shift to left and then just went off the radar. I think from now on I'll probably just start taking my bus. Well, no, not really because Megabus been having accidents too. Hell, I guess I just won't go on vacation. Alright, game shit. I mean, six. Huh, yeah. So, Stephen Curry was fined $25,000 for throwing his mouth guard. Really? You know, I'm not really a sports fan, but watching that game just severely pissed me off. Like, okay. Anyway, Steve Kerr also incurred a $25,000 fine. Why? Because he was voicing his opinion to the official. The officials. I mean, of course, I know you can't say that, but don't you kind of have a freedom of speech? Guess not in the NBA. After all, it is a franchise. But you know what? They do cater to LeBron James. You are such a private. Hey, you remember that guy in game four? You know, he decided to run on the court, had bare chest and all, I mean, nipples everywhere. It said, Trump sucks. I do agree, mi amigo, I do agree. On his back it read, LeBron for president. I don't know what you was on when you put that, but whatever. <laughs> you would think, you know, all the social sites say, you know, it's not worth that 15 seconds of fame. I beg to differ because that is actually his second time that he's done that. He's ran on the field in soccer, the World Cup final, did the same thing. How does this man do that? To me, he my hero. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. 
And to end up our topics for this week, we just want to celebrate Tupac's birthday, the great Machiavelli, the best ghetto poet that there is. That man had words and can lyrically assassinate anyone's character. Say something if you want to. So you know how to hit us. IG, Facebook, email, hit us up. Don't forget about the newsletter. You feel me? All right, till next time. If you don't have time to talk, there's always time for a little combo. Y'all, that national is not U.S. citizens Trying to make us in capital proud of us like intimates Doing your survival control, all your sentiments Don't be jealous of anything that's feminine Etymology is key, learn all your synonyms, etonyms and nouns There's no black as an adjective Contrary to move, they're still proactive Annoy thyself, will execute the action Hold on, y'all